appears that this article is uh, indeed now revoked or discarded. Is that accurate? And what does that mean when it comes to uh, Kashmir? Home Minister has formally announced it, that there was a presidential degree as a result of which this special status uh, has been revoked, uh, which means the not, now uh, Kashmir would not be a disputed territory as per Indian constitution, as per Indian law. This means that the any Indian citizen can purchase a property, any Indian citizen can have a job inside the uh, Kashmir uh, territory. Uh, and that also means that the other parts of the Kashmir, which is Ladakh, it has been made uh, as a part of the federal unit. So in that context, I think we need to see what are the 17 UN Security Council resolution. What are they saying about it? Kashmir remains a disputed, disputed territory as per international law. And its this final status has to be determined through a referendum, through a plebiscite, something New Delhi has been denying, despite the fact that it conceded it inside the UN Security Council, and despite the fact that subsequently it vowed that it would hold referendum. Now, in, in this situation, when the Kashmir, in the entire Kashmir, Indian side of the Kashmir, is under curfew, and there is already border tension with Pakistan. There have been incidents of skirmishes. Uh, India has been using a uh, banned cluster ammunition on Pakistani side of the border. Many civilians have been killed. Uh, their fear of escalation between India and Pakistan. You might recall that there was a similar situation back in February this year when Pakistan had downed two fighter jets of India. One Indian pilot was arrested. So I think it is a it's a bad omen for the peace. Uh, in, uh, in, the, in the region, the way forward towards a uh, negotiated settlement, I think those chances seems to be fading. Well, uh, let's come on that last point that you mentioned in terms of a military escalation. Now, uh, there has been skirmishes. There have been military confrontations. As a matter of fact, the past year or so has seen uh, uh, an uptick. Uh, do you think that this uh, increases the chances of uh, a military conflict between Pakistan and India? Well, there is a uh, build-up by Indian military on Pakistani side of the border, on the de facto Kashmir border. And then obviously, Pakistan military is on high alert. Rather, I would say Pakistan military is on a red alert because uh, Pakistan simply doesn't trust India. So any major terrorist attack inside India, particularly in Indian-held Kashmir, uh, could possibly provoke a, a escalation, more tension, border tension. I think uh, it is a terrible situation in the sense that, that the both countries are nuclear armed and there could be possible miscalculation. Uh, the international community is not understanding that how dangerous this region is. Kashmir is a nuclear flashpoint of 1998. Pakistan had uh, at least three wars, uh, including a brief conflict. Uh, with India over Kashmir. And now India thinks that through a excessive use of force by deploying more than 800,000 paramilitary and uh, army in, inside Kashmir, they can suppress this up uprising. This is most unlikely to happen. They, India has arrested the top Kashmiri leadership. Uh, no, nobody can be seen in, in, in the streets. There's a curfew. Internet connection have been disconnected. All day-to-day -day life has, seems to be coming to a grinding halt. Uh, how long it can last? Simply, I mean, sooner or later, there is going to be protest. That means uh, India is giving more justification to the militants in, from Indian Kashmir to attack on its security forces. Now, Pakistan has long blamed India that India has been conducting false flag operations to put blame onto the Pakistan. So I think it is on uh, the military stop. The journals are going to meet tomorrow uh, to uh, have it Pakistan's own course of action in the event of this tense situation. Uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan has said that the situation has the potential uh, to blow up uh, another crisis. Uh, it is a crisis-like situation, but the bigger trouble is that the Americans are not interested. They are interested to pull out of Afghanistan. Now, Indians are basically concerned that if Americans pull out from Afghanistan, uh, that means there is a possibility that the Taliban in insurgency, which had a very success rate in Afghanistan, that could possibly be replicated in the Indian part of Kashmir. I think because of, because of those apprehensions, now Indians, well, I, I must say that they have 
lost the balance in its policy. They are not understanding that the Kashmir, in Kashmir, there is a largely indigenized struggle. Uh, people are raising Pakistan's flag. Uh, they have already fenced the entire border. It is not support from Pakistan side of the border. Pakistan cannot uh, basically influence the entire population to come on the roads to raise Pakistani flag. So in a broader, broader picture, I think Indians are going to lose uh, Kashmir sooner or later. It is simply a matter of time. Thank you so much for that. We appreciate it.